today we're going to change the oil on our Airstream Interstate 19. This is the first time we changed the oil since we bought it. And um, these are the things that we will be needing to change the oil. We are go going to use the Mobile One 5W30 and we're gonna need probably all three. Right, honey? 13.2 quarts. <laughs> And this is the filter that we are going to use. Of course, we are going to need the, the oil filter wrench and the wrench <laughs> with the 19 millimeter 13. socket. Oh, sorry, 13. <laughs> <laughs> and the oil funnel. And of course, we will have to have something to um, to put the old oil in so this is what we're gonna use so let's start honey okay first i have to put the oil pan right here with some old rags just in case there's oil spill <laughs> so i have to crawl down and see what's underneath <laughs> So we're gonna have to open this screw right here with the 13 millimeter socket I have to put um, a piece of cardboard right here so that when the oil uh, comes out, it just hit this and it doesn't splash everywhere. And we're just gonna go down to this oil pan. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what a messy job. Oh, let's clean the screw. So much oil. Waiting for the oil to drain, we're gonna take out the oil filter. But since, oh my God, we have a four x four plus the suspension package. So I have to step on the stove <laughs> to get up here. Uh, we saw on YouTube that some people take out this whole thing um, to get it to the oil filter, but we find that we can just put this oil filter wrench um, size 84 in here and we're gonna put the socket in here okay let's go this way all right let's unscrew this okay. I take the wrench out now because it feels loose enough now we're gonna loosen up the oil filter, but um, not taking it out yet because we want all the oil to drain down. Okay, I put an oil rack right next to the filter just in case the oil is gonna drip when I take this out. Here we go the old filter. All right, let's take out the, the old O-ring. Okay, let's take this filter out and dispose of it. <laughs> now, we have to take out the old O-rings. It comes with the little one and this big one. And we're gonna use this um, pick to remove this small little o-ring right here first how like that got it yep got it <laughs> now we have to get this o-ring too there you go and we're gonna put in the new o-ring Okay, make sure it's all the way down. And then we have to put this small little O-ring on. It's in place. Let's put the new filter back in. Then you're supposed to hear a click. 
then you go. Get some oil and just um, run it around here. Oh, can you tilt it, honey? <laughs> just to lubricate it a little bit. Okay, let's put this back in and we're just gonna hand tighten it first and then we'll have to torque it to 18 pounds. Okay, I think it's tight, honey. So the new filter is in place. Now we have to close up the, <laughs> down there and put new oil in. So the oil has drained already and it's time to put back this screw and we put this new crush um, washer in here. Have to hand tighten it first. We're gonna torque it to 22 pounds. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> that was a dirty job. <laughs> and so it's time to put the new oil in. And this van takes 13.2 quarts. But first we're gonna just pour in um, two and a half quart first. I just mark it right here. So that just in case we over pour, we could just adjust it with um, these two bottles here. All right. All right. Let's open it up. Okay, I think we're at that line. <laughs> Let's put the other 10 quarts in. Okay, all the oils are in. Well, we have to go inside the van to check, um, to reset the service light and turn on the engine to check the oil level. Um, and then we need to put in more oil if um, it's not enough. <laughs>